there we go got the uh, truck and trailer home this is the next day I got home at like just about midnight after getting up at 3.50 in the morning to go get that bugger um, yeah I wish I was taking the wheeler out for a rip right now but I actually have something else planned for you guys today so we're gonna hop in the car go for a quick drive and I will show you what we got in store should be pretty cool all right guys so I think you're gonna like uh, I think you're gonna like today's video um, I'm gonna go catch up with my brother and I know a lot of you guys like that little Terex that he has but it's actually a little Terex I know a lot of you guys think it's like a little Bobcat or something but it's a Terex Terex with the uh, wide tracks on it and it's got the tall um, center clearance underneath it but anyway today we are gonna be going checking it out so he's got a mulcher for um, like cutting brush and stumps and stuff like that on on the front of it so he's doing some work and I figured I'd go show you guys what that looks like and it's should be a pretty darn cool little machine so hopefully you guys like the video stay tuned I have to drive down there um, it's kind of a little bit of a snowstorm here so well the roads are uh, a little snow covered here a little bit icy a little bit slippery eh, but it's kind of a cool little truck but they are definitely getting snow covered and uh, slippery so gotta be careful in the car this is a rear wheel drive car that's the one thing I wish I had was uh, all wheel drive but otherwise it still does good though it's just this snow that's coming down it was rain first and then now it's now it's switched over to snow so like it's just a wet wet snow so it's basically like slush on the roads which if any of you that uh, live in snowy areas know that slush is just really bad for driving in because it'll make you hydroplane so hydroplaning is when you actually get you get on the snow and it lifts your vehicle up and it'll just literally move you one way or the other and you pretty much can't stop to control it about the only thing you can do is hit the brakes and hope you slow down and gain control back so that's why you don't want to drive too fast on this stuff otherwise you uh otherwise you will hydroplane so, but i got about another oh half hour or so driving on this stuff to get over to my brother and it's snowing heavier and heavier the further over here we get so I'll keep you updated and now we've got more snow covered roads man I wish I could have that uh, Can-Am out over here go playing with it that 2021 that'd be a blast but I gotta get a video of this today and uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get it out after the snowstorm is done because we're supposed to get five to seven inches so and that's what you get when you drive too fast Y'all good or what? What's that? I say y'all good. I'm good. But I mean, you got somebody uh, coming or what? Yeah, I got someone coming. Okay, all right. Otherwise, if I would have brought my truck down, I would have said I'd pull you out. But well, I a little slippery, ain't it? That slush and stuff. Yeah, you can see my okay. tracks, son. Huh? Yeah, I see. Yeah, you got off to the edge and hit that slush, and then just whoop. Yeah. Way she went. I tried to go forward a little bit, but it just kept going in. And no, it's, yeah. Like, once you're like that and you start spinning on this, it's done. So there's one guy in the ditch. Uh, roads are super slippery. Like I was saying about the slush, he hit the slush on the side and then tried correcting and braking, and it spun him right around into the ditch on the other side there. So he's okay. He said he had a buddy with Ford F-150 coming to pull him out. So depending on how you feel about Fords, either that's going to go really good or really bad. So. <laughs> because I know Dodge could pull them out, but Ford and Chevy, eh, it's pretty questionable. Yeah, if they'd send a Dodge, I know he could get out, but with a Ford or a Chevy, I don't know. Take your pick. One or the other might get them out. But I'm not, I'm not going to stir up that debate. 
I'm not gonna take sides, but if I had to, I'd take a Ford over a Chevy. Sorry guys. I know I probably just offended a lot of Chevy viewers on my channel, so if I did, I'm totally sorry. But uh, no, this looks really cool with all the uh, snow and stuff in the trees over here like this. Looks really neat. But we are just about there. So I'm hoping to get some awesome video for you guys. Some really cool videos. Something uh, you haven't really seen before. So definitely stay tuned and check it out. Well guys, it looks like we're uh, hoofing it. We gotta walk back in there. So we'll get back in here and uh, look what I got here. Hopefully this turns out as cool as what I think it will, but I'm not sure. So I'll take you guys along for the ride. Made a special trip down here. That's all right, I like doing it. Trying to get some cool content for you guys. Something for you to enjoy. I love the snow though, just awesome snow. Next stop, find my brother. There we are guys. Got the great big mulcher here, just ripping stuff up. And that is what we've come to take a look at. When I saw this, I was thinking for sure my brother was stuck. I was like, man, how are we gonna get that thing pulled out of here? Cause it's too deep of snow to get a truck back in there too. Maybe, but yeah, I wasn't sure if he was gonna make it out of this or not. So, all right, let's watch guys and back to the movie.
right, guys, he is taking off that way across the field. And look at this bugger. It just mulches up uh, some pretty good sized trees and everything and just shreds them, gets rid of them. So a pretty cool piece of equipment. Um, I know this is an off-roading channel, but usually most guys like uh, like heavy equipment, um, dozers, backhoes, excavators, stuff like that. If you're into off-roading, you're usually into heavy equipment. So hope you guys like the video. Um, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, yeah, just leave a comment down below in the comment section. But anyway, other than that, today went good. Um, this is where he was, where I thought he was going to get stuck, or was it over there? And I was over here. Let's go check out the ruts when he was going back and forth. That was some pretty, uh, pretty deep stuff, it looked like to me. And yeah, you can see over there. Check that out. That little Terex, I tell you what, that stuff will go through the crap and go through the snow. I thought for sure he'd be buried in here. This is just uh, cattails. Usually where the cattails are, all the snow drifts really good. You can see he started scraping bottom here, a little bit over there. But he was, uh, when he was, oh, my feet are getting soaked right now. When he was driving through here, check that out. He's scraping bottom all the way through this thing. That's, uh, that's some, that's pretty cool. That's, that's why you get tracks, guys. If you're looking at a piece of equipment like that, um, definitely get tracks depending on what type of ground you're running it on most of the time but my preference tracks pretty much all the time so yeah all right guys favorite like share subscribe all right guys hope you like it uh remember stay tuned for more content on the outlander xmr 850 i will be trying to get that out of the trailer tomorrow I don't have a plow because we're getting a bunch of snow, but I can plow with my old one, but I'll get that other one out of the trailer. Maybe uh, park it next to my Polaris 500, see, see what the size difference is, go for a little rip in the snow and give you guys more content on that. But hey, uh, I appreciate all you subscribers. Thanks for the love and support. Thanks for everything, guys. Um, yeah, I love doing this stuff for you, so. I appreciate all the comments too. Bad comments, good comments, whatever. I don't let the haters bug me, but I do uh, appreciate the support and the positive comments a lot more. So thanks guys, stay tuned. And I don't know. Anyways, the video is gonna end somehow. But Look at those big ripper teeth on that bugger. That's some uh, heavy duty teeth on there. Pretty darn cool. Got your big uh, brush guard on here and stuff. Not hitting limbs, knocking down limbs and whatnot. Pretty neat piece of equipment. Pretty badass uh, Terex. He had to come get some fuel, so use a lot of fuel on this bugger. But can get a lot of work done too, though. Uh, tomorrow we will be unloading the Can Am. 850 XMR. So stay tuned for that with the Visco lock, the uh, four lock. So should be able to go out play and get a little rip in the snow and get some video for you. So don't miss it, guys. Later.